Uh, yeah, well, I think David Clark almost had the call before. I'll give it to him now. Thank you, Mr Chair. Um, I raise a, a further question in relation to that matter the Minister's just addressed um, and, and seek some further clarification. Uh, in my speech on part one, I was told clearly by the, uh, uh, the member in the chair at the time, not the, not the current one, uh, that I could not raise matters in relation to fees. Um, I was raising a matter in relation to a general principle in the bill and I, I think on that occasion failed to articulate quite how it wasn't fees but the principle I was addressing. Um, but uh, having taken that advice I will plant my question firmly in the section discussing the fees. And it relates to those exemptions and, and the more general principle of uh, who should receive them. And the Minister's uh, mentioned small and medium enterprises. Uh, the, more, the more general point is that, um, that uh, overseas regulators um, uh, uh, to consider the likelihood of reciprocity as a factor in determining whether to provide assistance or information to the Commission. And this is about reciprocity and it goes both ways. Um, my question is really the extent to which and the nature of the uh, consultation with MFAT where, um, where there are requests for assistance uh, around matters that have significant international trade consequence for New Zealand. Uh, whether this exemption could apply in those cases and, and what the threshold will be uh, when we say that the matter must uh, be significant. In part one of the bill, if I can refer, because I think it does relate to this, um, it says uh, on part one, clause six, that if the Commission considers after Thank consultation you. with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade that a request for compulsorily acquired information or investigative assistance may have significant trade consequences for New Zealand, the Commission must refer the matter to the Minister of Trade. And so uh, in respect of those fees, um, I, I am wondering what the test for significant is and, and how that will be applied, uh, Mr Chair. That is, that is the, the heart of my question and I invite uh, the Minister's response on it. Labor will be supporting this legislation uh, because we believe that the, the principles it is addressing are, are important and things that ought to be addressed. Um, and the legislation has been a long time in coming. Uh, as the Minister referred to earlier, we have had a lengthy debate on this matter. Um, but it is important legislation and it aligns us with Australia who passed this similar legislation already in 2007. Andrew Williams. Uh, thank you.